Hello everyone and welcome back to Moss and Mushroom Studios. My name is Monique and today I'm bringing you a short and simple vlog. I'm going to be harvesting nightshade flowers, pressing them, and using them for jewelry. But first I wanted to show you how I start off every morning and I start every morning by waking up my chickens and feeding them. I've got four chickens. Their names are Porcini, Portobello, Chanterelle, and Morel. They're all named after mushrooms and I love them. They are the sweetest little girls, even though they don't like to be pet very much. So I start off every morning by feeding them and also begging for their affection, which they actively ignore, but that's okay. Then I got to work harvesting my nightshade and I'm using this very cute little basket that I thrifted because honestly, it just matches the vibe. This is Black Nightshade. It is a cousin to Deadly Nightshade, but it's a lot less deadly. It can cause some skin irritation, so I make sure to wash my hands when I'm done uh, working with it. But I love this little plant. It is such a cool plant, and it actually grows wild here in Florida. I don't plant nightshade. It just pops up in my yard this time every year, and I take advantage of it while I can because once it's gone, it's gone for the year, and I've tried to plant it and buy seeds for it, and I cannot get it to grow. It's one of those plants that absolutely just grows wild and shows up when it wants to. But I use nightshade to symbolize protection, and it also is used to symbolize manifesting your own personal power and your own magic and bringing that out into the surface. Because of that, it's one of my favorite plants to work with. Now it's time to press the nightshade flowers, and I love this process. You can see here, I've got some nightshade already pressed. This has been pressing for about a week or two. They're nice and dry and ready to be put in my little plant organizer. I have to press all of my plants before I use them in jewelry for a couple reasons. The biggest reason is that if there's any moisture in the plant, when I cover it in resin, it can actually grow moldy over time, so I have to make sure that they're totally dry. I also have to make sure they're nice and flat, that way they fit inside the settings nicely. So now that those are ready to be pressed for a few weeks, I'm going to move on to actually using one of the nightshades in a piece of jewelry. I'm using this adorable key setting that I found. I've got a thing for keys. I love keys. I think they're so cool. And I start off by painting the base black with some Posca pens, and then I take one of my flowers and I fit them inside the settings by playing around with the different shapes and seeing how best it looks inside the setting. I covered up the part here, but I do cover the whole thing in a UV reactive resin, and then I get any air bubbles out with a lighter. I let that cure in the sun for a few minutes, and then it's ready to be put on a chain. Once I do that, the piece is complete, and that kind of rounds up the end of this little vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this. Please let me know if you'd like to see more. My shop link will be in the bio if you would like to buy some for yourself. And I also do custom works. So message me on Instagram if you want. Okay, I'm running out of time. Okay, love you, bye.